Hello. Welcome to Seeking God Daily. Let us rejoice in knowing that our Lord is soon coming back. And today, we want to think about that heavenly place where the new Jerusalem that John saw coming down out of heaven will be adorned as a bride for us as we are caught up into heaven. May we each glorify God this morning as we think upon the beauty of him. Let us dwell in the presence of the Lord with thanksgiving and glorify him from the depths of our hearts this morning. Come join me in prayer. Holy Father, righteous and wonderful eternal Savior, as we come before you, I'm asking, Lord, that you would reach down. And everyone who is under the sound of this voice this morning that is looking to you and reaching out to you, expecting something in themselves, Lord, whether it be a healing, deliverance from bondage, whether it be enlightenment in eyes, or overflowing quickening of your touch. Whatever it is that they so desire this morning, Lord, may each one of them lift up their hearts to be blessed by you, to overflow in your touch as you come and quickly judge us this day in our hearts and remove all things that is against you and place in there your word that will fill us and let us glorify you in spirit and in truth. Walk with us this day, Lord, for you are mighty and holy. You are our counselor. You come and you give us the divine truth of your word. No matter where we may be walking in our life with you, whether in little faith or great faith, or Lord, whether we are continuing to grow in faith or we are at a standstill in our faith. You already see and know all about us. You see the intents of our hearts and the thoughts of our mind. You know how we have put our faith in you. And Lord, those who do not know you, who have never sought you, I pray that you would touch their eyes to see, their ears to hear, and their hearts to receive the beauty of truth of the living word of God, which is your son, Jesus, to come down and convict them and help them to see their need of you as their Lord and Savior. Let us walk together in spirit and in truth, rejoicing, knowing your will will be done in us, around us and through us, when we come to choose you daily and walk with you as our covering and our blessing. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and ask that all people everywhere be mightily blessed by thy holy touch this day. Amen. And now I would like to read to you chapter 22 in Revelation, Expectation of the Coming Lord and What We Might See When He Comes. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the land. The pure water of life. I like to think of it as God's tears that he cried when Jesus was dying upon the cross, shed for us, that we could have life everlasting when we drank of his tears that brings life to our spirit. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. How glorious! A tree bearing twelve manners of fruit. That may be one of the most beautiful things we see in heaven. And we are able to eat of the fruit of the Spirit, which comes and lets us dwell with Jesus, even now, as he becomes our tree of life in us. 
and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servant shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. What an awesome sight, our Lord upon the throne, and we can become his servants, serving him all the time with his name upon our foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign for ever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true, and the Lord God of the holy prophets send his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. You can go on and read the rest of the chapter and learn of the Lord. And in so doing, be so blessed that by coming together and studying chapter 22, we learn what God is doing in Revelation. These things must come, for he said we should already be prepared to meet him, for his coming will be coming quickly in the blink of an eye quicker than lightning that goes across the sky from east and to west. He's going to appear. We must be ready at all times, thanking him for his glorious gift of salvation. And may each and every one of you be wonderfully blessed this day. And I pray if this has blessed you, that you would click the like button, leave a comment, and may God bless you and go with you. Amen.